Hey guys, welcome to ANX Gamecast level 132. I'm Unbiased Ann and I'm here with Genesis and Mike B. How's it going, guys? What? It's been a minute. It well, has been. I say, why are you not talking, Mike? What's wrong with you? Bobblehead. You were just screaming and now you're just like. Right, now mm-hmm. you want to be silent as soon as we hit the record button. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Where always been? quiet. Where y'all been? How about that? Where have I been? Where y'all been? Both of uh, y'all. Where have you been? I've been here. Oh, Every no. time I sit here to record, ain't nobody in these other seats, though. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I've been places, man. Okay. I, I got taken out, man. I got sniped. Yeah, you got minute. hit? Yeah, I got hit pretty hard, man. Right in the back of the Achilles? Yes. Just I was just mid-strike. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of y'all been gone. If it, This this would be mm-hmm. the time. If y'all want to talk about why y'all was gone, go ahead and do it now. If not, we can move on. I'm going to do it right now. I got sniped by COVID. COVID? It got me. Dang. I was down. Yeah. It, was hurt. it hurt. I was scared. You, you know, was, I was I tried to go scared. in there. I talked to you. Well, I mean, I tried to go in there like a champ. You know, I kept face, you know, but you didn't know after I got the phone with you. I was crying. Well, I, was, I mean, you no, you were crying while we was on the phone, but you always cry when we on the phone. <laughs> oh, no, right no, when I, I say, all right, no, bro, I, I got to go. No, I was very <laughs> stoic. Okay. <laughs> but when, then I start crying when I go, oh, he don't know I'm dying. Did you get that Gatorade <laughs> like I told you? I gave you good advice. Yes. No, tr- bro, I... I was taking everybody's advice. I was like, whatever it takes to make this crap just stop. With the hydro- uh, hydroxychloroquine, did that help you? <laughs> oh. You said you took everybody's no, advice. No, not huh? that kind of advice. No, okay. I'm not bleach. trying to poison myself. How'd the bleach go? Did oh, that gosh. work out for you? Just small amount, amount of bleach. I went partially blind for a little bit. <laughs> you some bleach rumors, but not Clorox. Uh, anyway. Hey. So, well, you got something? So I ended up having eye surgery in okay. the beginning of December right. and I was mm. walking around rocking a black eye for like a month. Oh, okay. gosh. So, um, and then, but two weeks after I had my eye surgery, I found out I had skin cancer on my face. So then I had to do this whole thing. Anyway, I, we're back now, but we had to let everything heal. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm just waiting on something to hit me. I know for oh, real. Gosh. I didn't have no COVID. I had no skin cancer. I had no eye surgery. So. Um, I'm good for right now, but we'll get two episodes out, and then something will knock you down, and then we'll yeah. be out yeah. for another three months. Whoa, though! No. But uh, anyway, uh, quick shout out to everybody who stuck around on the YouTube page, even though we ain't been putting out no content. If you're seeing this for the first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like some of the tracks because that does count. Oh, I ain't said none of this in a, such a long time. I know it's very weird. Um, it was foreign. Yeah. Y'all ready to jump into round one? Let's do it. Round one. Let's talk about the anime that we're currently watching. <laughs> yeah. What you got? Angel Cop. What is it? This looks very familiar. Not not in this form, because this looks like HD. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know where I got this picture from, but this looks like, like, like HD. This looks familiar, though. What What is this? Okay, so it's an old anime, of course. You know me. You know that old school. <laughs> back in my day. So this is uh, about you, a... You mean back in her day? <laughs> It's back in her day that stuff you watch. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Young blood, <laughs> big money, <laughs> big chief. Hey man, what you talking about? This is, my, this is my time right here, man. You know, time of the anime and everything. But you know, you got this rowdy cop right here. This uh, one chick right here. Um, she's a complete jerk. But <laughs> you kind of look like a jerk. I mean, it's funny. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you right now. This this movie is fun to watch with a bunch of people. If you have the right kind of people around you. Okay. Anyway, it's about um, there's this top notch cop. Um, he's part of some special police force. Get the most, not the less. Okay. Anyway, apparently, this chick right here is like the newer special forces cop or newer, so. But you said this came out thirty years ago. Okay, you, you're not that newer. Not like that. Not, oh, okay. Okay. I'm okay. you getting it. Okay. But anyway, newer for the episode. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, I guess even when I was watching anime, I was kind of like, what's going on? but like it's it's <laughs> cool just because i guess they're they're trying to stop like this terrorist organization of psychics or something like that mm-hmm. and so one thing leads to another at the very end you get like a robot suit person oh. you know it's pretty interesting i don't want to spoil too much for anybody but is it in english is 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 what you're watching remade yes it is, is in this, english is this remade i i in the blue, uh, high def they did redo it in high def but when i watched it i was like eh, you're not gonna get like this the same attention to detail like some of the dragon ball z stuff because i think i, I want to say i, I, I want to say when i worked at blockbuster shout out yeah this was a tape a vhs tape that was available to rent i don't think mm-hmm. it was in english so i never 
watched it. That's what Mike's watching it on the VHS and his VCR. Right? You just think I just got a VCR like that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes. we do. Yes. Okay. You know what? It's, I, I can't even say anything because I do have a VHS at the house. <laughs> I want to look at her and be like, uh, 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 I actually don't have one, but I do have one. But yeah. anyway, it's cool. Is 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 really cool. Cops, if you like that kind of stuff. Um, Cops and robbers. I, well, I, I mean, she kind of looks like she could have some kind of power. She kind of looks like, I don't know, like a like a vampire woman something well see here's the thing about it uh, when i, I was just, watching it i see her with a gun so she only she has no powers well no she doesn't like that's oh, okay. the thing about it i thought that she was gonna probably have like a more prominent role like a really really big role but it's just kind of like she is there mm -hmm. you know this is kind of like one of those times in animes where story was kind of just everywhere yeah. you know yeah where it's like the characters are cool like all the characters in here is cool this is one of those gory th this is a gory type anime though Oh, okay yeah, like like people get their muffin caps like blown straight back. You know, okay. I'm just I just want to let you know, but it's it's cool. I'll tell you, check it out. For old times, like you know. Okay, remember back in our time? Remember? No, gosh, I was right there with you, man, uh -huh. the whole time. Okay, let's uh, hold on. Mike, yeah, say, man, it still on, man. works. It still works. Okay, yeah. anyway, uh, my anime record of Grand Crest War episodes one through seven. It tells you how long it's been since we've done a show. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what i was watching before but um anyway i've been checking this out as soon as i saw record of and i was like record of lotus war because that anime was dope then they had another record of lotus War. That i think it, i think it was more based off the the manga i didn't mm -hmm. like that one as much because it, it changed a lot of the care I, I became familiar with the first anime not with the manga so it changed a lot of the characters and the story and i didn't really i was like hey it's just okay i don't know if this has anything to do with that if it's in the same time period but anyway this is back in like the medieval times you got swords but the thing i like about this one more mm -hmm. than record of lotus war this has a whole a lot more magic involved in it oh nice okay so you, you have your lord or your knight so he's a knight and um He's on on a conquest to become a lord over ter territories, right? They're not they're not doing the whole thing of like I'm a knight class. Technically, you're a mage class. They're not doing that, are they? Well, she's mage, he's a knight, but huh? uh, the mage usually uh, ties to, binds himself to a knight. Okay, okay. So they're together in that in that sense, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the crest, so grand crest war, and then if, as you take over more territories, you 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 whoever was the lord over that territory, you you absorb their crest and you become more powerful, and you have all uh -huh. the land and stuff that they. Now, uh, I like it. I like I like it. It's, it's good graphics. It's high quality. Um, it's good. It's good. Um, voice acting is good. Really good fights. The fights are good. Now I think you will like it because I feel like they have a more of a martial arts element to some of the fighting. That's what I'm so about. So it's not everybody with swords. It's one person with this sword, one person with a great sword, one person like more of a ninja style, one that's more he you know fights and okay. The only thing I don't like about this is you saw you talking about story with Angel mm -hmm. copying all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Same the, way with this. It man, sounds like this would be all over gosh. the place and everybody this, this, has this, different. I mean, I feel like I don't want to spoil a whole lot. I don't, do we got? Do we still got a button for that? Uh, 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 uh. Spoiler alert. Um, it's like within the first episode, second episode, this mm. dude is like a lord over like multiple territories. Mm. You were like a no name knight, and now you're the lord. And then two mm. episodes after that, you have nothing. Mm. And it's just like, oh, you know, it's that. So that part is just it's, it just moves really fast. They, they're pushing it, I guess, in order to get to the to the point of it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it moves really fast, but everything else is dope. So okay, you should check it out. I believe it's on Netflix. Oh, it was on Netflix. Okay, I believe it's on Netflix. So so y'all check it out. Uh, I don't know how many episodes there are, but I'm already through the seventh one. Okay, cool. Watch me shield. Is it on HBO Max? <laughs> no. no. You don't even have HBO Max. Yes, I do. Well, well, why haven't you? Well, we'll get to it. Um, the Millionaire Detective. Whose is this? Oh. Fine. What? I remember mm -hmm. she was watching this. Yes. Before right. I got sick, I was thinking about, oh, I wonder if she's still watching it. Yeah. So, well, we started watching it again. <clears throat> um, this, th this was a good episode. There was a lot going on, I feel like. But, so I kind of spoiled it last time when I said that they figured out the case that, that they were looking into, or it was like some big deal was the murder of... Uh, Daisuke's Daisuke Daisuke's mm. mother. That's his cousin. Who That's she? Okay. He's the millionaire detective right there in front. Mm -hmm. So 
this is starting from that point, right? So now they figure out that everybody's trying to figure out, you know, who murdered his mom. This is a case from like 15 years ago that has just stuck around. And anyway, um, you know, this, this machine that, that Daisuke talks to, that he gets all his information from, it's, he's, he has realized it through a couple of past episodes that like he can't get access to certain information, which is really weird because he's in this family. He's like the owner of this machine or whatever. Right? But it's a computer. It's a computer. Okay. 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 But it's like an AI. I mean, I don't know. So anyway, throughout the story, there starts to be more stuff that he can't get access to. Like mm -hmm. they're like, we can't tell you. We can't tell you. Can't tell you. Mm -hmm. And then. The girl that works for him, she's kind of like his assistant that helps him research stuff. She starts realizing that, like, I think it seems like Data's like disappearing, and so she she believes that the machine, this computer, mm -hmm. is like listening. So stop me if I say anything wrong, but that's the way I took this, it. You keep calling it a machine. Yeah, I know. So we call it a robot. I know computer, computer. because it, it's a computer, computer, but it's like okay. this huge screen. It just looks like it's a big machine. Anyway, it like can listen to what they're saying mm -hmm. so it's like it starts hiding information oh so it, it's kind of like sentient or something i mm -hmm. guess oh wow so uh, and this is where i kind of got a little lost so the main detective mr cho who's trying who is like this case has bugged him for 15 years mm -hmm. he, i guess it's his old partner or something like i guess they find him i don't remember where that guy came from yeah it's his old partner right okay they take him they lock him up and they're trying to figure out like who are you afraid of because he he's like panicking and freaking out and he won't show he won't tell him who like he like who the person is that's like threatening him like basically to withhold information or something so then all of a sudden somebody enters the compound and the girl's like i locked it down it's fine well he's hmm. he's opening all the doors he this person is able to get through all of the do locked doors with voice commands. Mm. So they're like, what the heck? Who is this? Oh my God. Meanwhile, the guy's freaking out because he knows it's this person that he's afraid of. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Cho's like, I don't care. I don't really care if I die or not. I want to know who this person is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the person shows up and kills them. I know. So sorry. Spoiler alert if you're watching uh, this. He spoiler alert. kills them and knocks the girl, the assistant, out, basically. Mm -hmm. So... We still don't have any answers. Well, I mean, they, they clearly, they show who it was. Though. The dad? Yeah. Yeah, it was, I, I didn't know if that was spoiling. Yeah, so. Well, yeah, that's spoiling. I don't want to know is that what does this guy look like? Because I'm just imagining like some like, like right. dude in like some black trench coat. Just <laughs> so I guess I they think thought. he might have had a trench coat on. Really? So, okay, so I'm in the ballpark. So I guess they thought the, the guy had died. They thought yeah, the I mean, dad. I mean, the, the story was that the, the, the dad killed the mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then he then he committed suicide. Oh, so it wasn't necessarily an unsolved Murder mystery. Suicide. It, yeah, but it was just like I don't I don't believe that's what actually happened. And then uh, in this particular episode, Dice K, they show him back in the day when he was a kid. He actually he didn't uh, quite witness the murder. He showed up right after it happened, and uh, I think he clearly knew that his dad didn't commit suicide. Yeah. Mm. So, but that was the story going around. So anyway, we know that it's his dad. So you want to know what the guy looks like? It looks like the guy right there with the black hair, except older. Put, yeah. put about 20 25 years on but my only question my it. only question was and i should have asked you this yesterday Ooh, i don't what know what was the part about when they went to that other place and he shot off all those things in the air what were they doing i i got a little lost on that part remember because he went somewhere to so do that yeah so daisuke went there to investigate this lab where his mom and dad worked at to try to get at try to get more information about what happened oh, and what they were doing there and what this that's, right. that's some kind of metal we're gonna call it vib vibranium just because mm -hmm. but I, it's, it's called something so he went there but he needed to get in so he had the other guy here i don't even remember his name because mm -hmm. it's been so long since we watched this but uh not this episode, but this show. But uh, he he used him as a distraction. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, we're gonna break in, and the alarm is gonna go off, and all the guards are gonna come after you. Mm -hmm. Does and, he know and, that? And then I'll slip in. He but he does know that they're coming after him, though, right? He didn't know when they showed up that that was the plan. <laughs> so I think that was like the only okay. goofy part of this episode. Like when we first started watching this first episode or two, mm -hmm. I mean, I want to say ninety percent of the episodes was, episode was like goofy. Yeah. Now okay. it's like the complete opposite. It's like only ten percent goofy, and the rest is like serious. As I don't know what. When they showed that the 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 detective Cho and um 
I actually think that his old partner is like his boss now or something. He's like mm-hmm. higher up. He mm-hmm. kept getting promoted. Um, but anyway, <laughs> when they showed that they had died, mm-hmm. like it didn't show them getting killed, but it was just blood everywhere. Ooh, blood splattered, handprints. Yeah. It just looked like a crazy, gruesome scene. So it's getting a lot more serious. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually liking it. Yeah, so. yeah, it was good. Uh, so I, I actually think you should watch it, man. I mean, I, I, I know that this ain't, I know this ain't, this ain't your type of anime, but. It's good though. Yeah, it's good. I, I mean, it's hey, good. if it got detectives and, and it's a lot of suspense, yeah, I'll, ch- I'll check it out though. Oh, da, 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 da. oh yeah, you know, yeah, I, I love my fist in the North Star. You don't have none of that. Um, <laughs> so anyway, you still you you say you still liking it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. So when we were originally watching this back in the day, we were catching brand new episodes every week. Mm-hmm. Now all the episodes are released. So if y'all want to get ahead, go ahead on the Funimation channel and go ahead and watch all twelve episodes. I'm thinking we probably should just binge the next three. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Y'all ready for the next round? Yes. Do it. Round two. Wanda Vision. Ooh. Season one, episodes one through four. So, Mike, have you seen this? I actually have not. I heard a lot of people talking about it, though. So, you got you got HBO. You claim to have HBO Max. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, you, I got but it. You, but you hadn't even watched this? What talking about, man? So, you I mean, mean I Disney Plus? It's on Disney Plus, right? Oh, oh yeah, this is on Disney. It is, it is on Disney Plus. I'm about Plus. to say, man, why so you- So, do you have Disney Plus? Yeah. So okay, same question. But you still ain't watch oh, this? Dang, I thought it was gonna get me into a better situation. But <laughs> no, same, same, same exact situation. I should have just said, "Nah, I got HBO Max, fam. I can't watch it." Nah, no, uh, no. You know what? That makes sense. I bet you seen Wonder Woman. Yeah. So, so you watch two and a half hours of crap, but you don't have time to watch eighty minutes of this. These are short. They're literally Leave my like girl tw- alone, man. They're like twenty minutes. Well, okay. Let me ask you this because I, I I I hear different stuff from different people. Mm-hmm. Why haven't you watched it yet? Is it uh-huh. just time or is it like some other reason? Mm, you Come know clean. what? Come clean with us. I mean, in all honesty, I mean, like, I kind of heard the premises of what it was. Yeah. And I was like, eh, it's not really my cup of tea for what I was looking for. Because, I mean. But I mean, why, well, why wouldn't you just try it without, like, worrying about what other people say? No, 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 no. I mean, like, I mean, my thing is I'm not really particular about scarlet witch like i know how cold she is and i'm like man like scarlet watch, witch is up watch there. her mouth because she, she gonna come get you what why is she gonna come get me her and her and her daddy what is that like is this a thing from the show y'all doing a thing from the show i mean no is she gonna like jump out the the screen He's i don't like, think is, so is this a bit yeah that's what i'm saying like is this a bit like is this what we doing? no <laughs> but not nah, like i mean like even like other shows and stuff like scarlet witch i've seen her in other stuff but i was like eh, i'll be more inclined to look at like um the Winter Soldier, you know. You need see, to watch this, or or the Loki, you know. And see, I, I mean, Loki is all right, but I'm I'm not interested in Winter Soldier. Well, how about this? How about mm-hmm. look at it from this perspective? Okay, this is literally kicking off everything in the next phase of of, of Marvel. Okay, I mean, if, like, I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, you got a little mm-hmm. bit of it with Far From Home, but mm-hmm. like, this is like literally the, like probably the kickoff, and this stuff will be branching off kind of from here. I mean, if this if that's what this is, and this is where like a, it starts up a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, I'll be interested to check it out. Yeah. Cause see, I thought this was just gonna be like it's maybe okay. Here's my main thing about it. Okay. I don't like to kind of. I mean, I can watch it, but I think I've kind of gotten conditioned in the Marvel sense of like, okay, if this has nothing to do with like the cinematic movies, I'm like, I'm not so inclined to watch it. Yeah. It has everything to do with the cinematic movies. So if it has something to do with like the movies, like, like where the, they're going like, forward, like, like I'll, I'll probably check it like out. This then. is not DC. And what I mean is like everything that pretty much is coming it's, out. It's going it, to take DC like that. Well, I'm just saying gonna, for if you like it or you don't like it, you see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It, it's like this, everything that they're putting out has something to do with it. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing, I don't, there's nothing to go to waste there. Okay, they, they, they even using the bones. I'm just saying. They're using all the meat. So, do you like it? I really like it. Mm. It's actually pretty good. I really like it. What did you think of the first episode, though? I liked it, but Mm -hmm. that's because... So, just so in case anybody's ever seen it, Mm -hmm. the first couple of episodes, it's like, it starts in the 50s, and then the next one's the 60s, and the next one's the 70s. So, I really liked, especially the first two episodes, because I grew up watching black and white TV. Mm. Not not because I was born in the 50s. You still got one of those with the VCR? I do see, have. See, I'm not the only. I one do have one. VCR, but I I don't don't ask me why I was a weird kid. I but I would watch Nickelodeon with all the old shows. So this reminds me of those shows, and I liked it. But also, I was one. I I I kind of was like, where is this going? Like, what mm-hmm. is going on here? Why are we set in the 50s and then the 60s and then the 70s? Like, 
something's about to pop off. I know mm-hmm. something's about to pop off, so I'm just going for the ride. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't I didn't necessarily oh. care for those first two and a half episodes. Um, they mm-hmm. didn't give you, especially the first episode, it didn't give you enough. The first episode didn't even really give you enough to think that it was leading anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, like that's it, true. It was like 98% like recreating an old sitcom with Wanda and Vision. That is 100% true, but I just think mm-hmm. in the back of my mind, I still knew something's got to happen. Right, we we know, can't stay here. Right, we, we, yeah. know, we know that, but it, it just, it didn't, it, for me, it didn't make for a good experience. So, just like you i also grew up grew up watching old stuff but i didn't choose to i didn't choose to watch it yeah mm-hmm. i didn't have cable so during the day like during the summertime it was gomer powell it was andy griffin it was i love lucy mm-hmm. because that was that's all that was on tv yeah so i watched it because i had to i didn't choose to watch it therefore i didn't enjoy it and i didn't enjoy this but for, for those reasons um did they do a okay job with it I, I, there's a couple of things i didn't like i, I don't think uh scarlet witch what's her olsen which one is she elizabeth elizabeth i don't i don't think she did a great job acting in those in those first like she didn't pull it off i'm not saying she's a bad actress there are things mm-hmm. that she's she's done especially in episodes three and four where i was like yeah there we go but those first few episodes I was like, eh, she ain't really hitting us at the park then they kept mentioning the nonsense that happened in these old shows mm-hmm. where they had to sleep apart and the woman had to cook and this you know yeah and but they mm-hmm. didn't make a big enough deal about it like you threw it out there like it was a joke, mm-hmm. but you didn't throw it out in there like in this jokey joke way. Mm-hmm. Like I'm 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 putting it in your face, but I'm not making a big enough joke out of it. I think they should have really hammered that home a little bit more to show uh, how ridiculous. Push, push on those old tropes that kind of like like oh we used to think that was cool. Right. Or, yeah. Right. I think they should have done more. They had a bigger opportunity to do more with that, and I mm-hmm. think they dropped the ball a little bit. So- what do you think about it? What did you think about the acting? That's what I was. That's what I'm curious about. I liked it, and I loved the way. I mean, I love the way Elizabeth Ols- uh, Olsen speaks. Mm-hmm. She does this thing with her voice that is mm-hmm. super old sitcom me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't even do it. But I, I yeah, just, see. I thought th- those were the parts that I was like, Ugh, "You're not. You're not really getting. You're not." I so, loved it. So do you think? Do you think that um, at one point it kind of comes off as kind of like a cheesy type feel because they're trying to go with the old school? Eat, yeah, it's definitely but, super cheesy. But 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 like but at one point it can come off as stylish though. Like oh, they're they're just they're just you know what? What if it's like okay, she's just so good at capturing the old school feel of it to where it it comes off as cheesy, comes off as cheesy, but it's actually really good though how she's portraying it. I don't know. I liked it. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh-huh. It would have watching them pretend like they were in this old sitcom would have gotten old really quickly so i'm glad that like each episode they're progressing along Mm -hmm. you know what i mean because it i liked it but i I liked it for the episode i wouldn't have wanted to see that forever but they're at least dropping some kind of hints towards like this is progressing every episode gives you more so like i said if that first episode only gave you two percent like maybe the next mm-hmm. one gave you 10% and the next one maybe gave you 15%. Mm-hmm. And then this fourth episode was completely, it didn't have mm-hmm. anything to do with the sitcom anymore. Uh, and just off the top, cause I thought this was appropriate. If I were to just rate these episodes so far, mm-hmm. uh, first one fifties, right? We got 50, 60, seventies. That's probably mm-hmm. how I would rate it for me. Like the first episode would probably be a 50 or five mm-hmm. second episode, 60, third episode seven yeah, so yeah seven. everyone so gets each, better so each one's getting better <laughs> now this this last one is not necessarily the 80s i don't want to spoil a whole bunch from mike b mm-hmm. uh but next time we do this bro i'm, I'm spoiling everything yeah you okay you gotta okay. Watch. I'll, so you I'll watch it, I'll uh, watch it. you but, have to but okay. uh, but this last one was by far the best episode yes and it's not even it's not even close and in this and this one starts to put everything in perspective as far as the mcu you like let me tell you something about. interesting because okay i heard some people talk about how they were like people you have certain people that just want to kind of bash on wandavision that i've heard of that's the only thing i've heard mm-hmm. some people were like oh i didn't like the first episode or and everything and they were trying to bash the whole series but sometimes i'm kind of like when it comes to like a series or so sometimes you have to kind of give it a chance like i understand you can give critique on each episode on its own right but as a series sometimes you have to give it a couple of episodes yeah because then because like you said sometimes some people will see it as this is garbage this is bad but then when it gets to a certain point where it'll make you say oh i see and i get what's happening then people will go back and say oh this is amazing this is genius yeah. and it's like well you did and then you know 
you know, and then some people wonder, why do people dislike this? And it's like, because you didn't give it a chance. I right. don't even know so, what people think. I haven't read one thing. I mean, I, I, I haven't gone out and looked for anything. Well, everything I saw across the board was like the first episode people weren't feeling. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, period. Because they yeah. were probably confused. But then didn't they put out both the first and second episodes together? Yes. So they, mm-hmm. I think they had to do that. I think they knew that their first episode was not going to capture people. the audience. People were going to yeah. be lost. So, yeah, huh? the first episode to me was trash. But when you put it together with the second episode, mm-hmm. it had just enough to be like, all right, I got to see what's happening next. Because they, they, they give you just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm talking about a little bit. And it's just like, what's going on here? Like, that's what happened after you watched that first two episodes. Mm-hmm. It's like, what's going on here? Well, because I know, like, some people who who watch, they would ask me, like, because, you know, people expect me to watch it first. And Well, because, you, you know, you do podcasts yeah, about this kind of stuff. Of course. So. So, I mean, like, you know, they asked me on my opinion and they were like, man, I watched the first episode and I don't know. And they're, I'm like, like, what do you mean? Like, you don't know. And they're like, it's kind of weird. And it's weird. It's, it's different. Because like you said, a lot of times, a lot of people that come into this st- kind of stuff, they're expecting, you know, you know, when you hear superheroes and superhero mm-hmm. shows, you expect to see superheroes doing super heroin type wait, stuff. Wait, wait, even if you don't associate it with superheroes per se, if yeah. you just associate it with MCU yeah exactly yeah that's true you expect something and it's the complete opposite of that but but you had but you had no going in if you had seen any sort of yeah form of saw the picture, commercials. yeah that mm-hmm. this well. is going to start off in like the 50s or 60s like mm-hmm. you can tell which that is what intrigued me about it because i'm like what are they gonna do i'm so mm-hmm. confused like what is this gonna be <laughs> you know what i i um I guess it was a slight spoiler that I heard, but like in all honesty, I kind of had a good idea of what was going on with mm-hmm. the whole fifties and sixties type thing. Like, cause I, I saw the previews mm-hmm. and I said, okay, just knowing what Scarlet Witch's abilities and powers are, I was like, I kind of have a good grasp on the direction they're going, but I still don't know, but I am intrigued to find out all about this though. Yeah. Watch that. And uh, it's all, okay. uh, I mean, uh, the, the main thing I'm hearing from some people is, I don't have time to waste my. I don't have time to waste with this, and it's not very good. And they're literally mm, twenty minutes. Dude, it's like it goes tw- by so fast. Quickest mm-hmm. episodes. I don't even think they are full twenty three minutes. Like we're accustomed to with anime and stuff like that. I don't even think mm-hmm. they're twenty three minutes. Maybe man. if they had some commercials, maybe it'd be thirty minutes. Well, man. they do have commercials. Oh, really? So, so that's the thing. So they're even shorter. Yeah. Because they have like, a, like fake they have old school fake commercials. Really? That that keep leaning towards Hydra and stuff like that, like old Hydra commercials. Um, so it's got cool little Easter eggs and stuff okay, like that. Cool, all cool. in it. Got Easter eggs all in this stuff. Okay, I got to check buried all over the place. So it's not you. So you're not even getting 20 minutes of like actual show mm-hmm. when you start talking about commercials and stuff like that are built into it. So it's like y'all come on and stop acting like y'all. Y'all you know spend what? more time in a in a week trying to figure out what you're gonna eat for breakfast. Once people start hearing episodes. about the hype, they'll probably start jumping into. Yeah, because the more. last thing I saw on social media, it's hype like crazy. Yeah. Like people are like kind of losing their minds right now, especially after that mm-hmm. last episode. Um, so here, so here's the deal. Here's the other thing that I've been hearing. So y'all, y'all need mm-hmm. to watch out. We, we haven't even spoiled the four episodes that have been out, but mm-hmm. apparently there are leaks. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, know. really? <clears throat> yeah. So oh I don't know. I didn't see any. As soon as I, I saw that the hashtag was trending at a mm-hmm. weird time, it's like obviously the day it comes out is trending, and maybe mm-hmm. the next day. But then it was like, uh, still, why is it still trending? leaks i don't want to know we're talking about the leaks and like it's apparently it's out there on what's happening i don't want to know any leaks i don't i i do not and there's rumors floating around that they're going to go ahead and drop like two episodes because of all the leaks Mm -hmm. but um uh, i don't know all i know is um just be careful yeah be careful what you click on yeah for real yeah i'm glad you told me that because i I don't want any spoilers i mean i waited for dragon ball super to be dubbed before i saw anything about it so i'm i'm (laughs) doing i'll do okay with some leaks yeah but uh, anyway, you should check it out. Oh, Ep- episode, most definitely. Episodes are short. And as of right now, not after that first episode, I will give Wonder Woman that credit. But so far, yeah, this is better than Wonder Woman. Uh, anyway. Oh, this is way better than Wonder Woman. Way better. I know anyway. we, we've been gone for a while. Wonder Woman was trash. Not that you didn't know that already. <laughs> Anybody who saw it. Um, Why are you looking at me? Y'all ready for round three? Yes. <laughs> round three.
was so wrong. I, I was, I'm so right. <laughs> what? You I'm was... so right. I'm not saying nothing. Hey, man, what everybody feel about Wonder Woman is the way how they feel about it. Hey, you know, I like Gal. You know, oh, that's, I do too. Um, I love her. That's fine. No, she's she is. Then oh she need gosh, to be in better movies. Amazing. Um, anyway, oh, I, I have oh, a girl crush. Gosh, wow. She need to be in better movies. Wow, sir. Um, and maybe she need to learn how to act. Wow, yeah, sir. I mean, I'm. I sir, drive, it's been I a while. Bought what she was selling, sir. I didn't. She buy was it. selling something good, and I was, you know, maybe I was just like, dang, she's fine. But I, I bought <laughs> everything I think, she I sold. I think that's more or less what you were doing. Okay, look, it's a what? whole, it's a whole game on the screen now that we're not paying no attention to. Um. Today we are reviewing Ooh. our rule Warriors Age of Calamity Ooh. for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, we got Xbox Series X, we got PS5, we got brand new Alienware computers, but we're playing the Switch. Oh man, hey, it's, that's where it's at, man. So where are we gonna start? Um, graphics. Okay, so let's talk about the graphics real mm-hmm. quick. It's something weird. It's like some of the graphics are, are good. Mm-hmm. The the cell shaded. It's almost like watercolors. Right. It's like a weird cell shade. It's it's a cell shade when sometimes they don't have the bold black outline around. Mm-hmm. So some of the colors just kind of mesh together and it looks like kind of watercolors. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. I'm not gonna say they're bad graphics by by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't know about you, but when I actually started playing, mm-hmm. and I there was some kind of I don't want to say the screen, there was no screen tearing. Mm-hmm. There was just a lot of like glitching glitching going on with with what was happening on the screen mm-hmm. so you know so but generally speaking graphics are not bad they're, they're actually pretty good especially considering that i've been playing i've played you know ps5 and xbox series i'm not saying they're up to that par with that but they don't look dated there's no perfect. ghosts yeah. of Tsushima. you know what like that's it, true like you said like um like that, that's I'm, I, I had to go to my notes real quick. You got look notes? At some of the st- yeah, man, you know I got my notes. Twenty twenty one, twenty twenty one, Mike. Don't be tripping. He is professional. Hey, man, yeah, can we change the button now? Hey, maybe keep this up. No, nah, just kidding. No, nah, we can't never change that button. All we right. can't. No. <laughs> but what? Like, okay, I was looking at like the animation and stuff, and I was like, okay, it looks like it's it's almost about the same as like the Breath of the Wild, right? Yeah. Like, you know, but like it is kind of slightly off, like you said, like with the watercolors, because sometimes it will kind of like hurt my eyes to kind of look at it because it's not sharp. No, it's know? not sharp. It, it's mm-hmm. missing a lot of sharpness to it. I mean, but the thing is, though, it looks good, though. Yeah, it don't look it's bad. It's pretty. The color, it's very yeah. colorful. And yeah, I mean, just from like the first stage, like well, it was the first stage was like the um, uh, well, Hyrule Fields, just starting off from there, looking at the grass, how it was moving and how it looked i was like this looks like the breath of the wild right but so it, it certain parts of it didn't look as good as breath of the wild no no but it had stuff going on there were people yeah. out there there was stuff you can do interact with just stuff you can mm-hmm. go so that's what kind of made it different as opposed to when i played breath of the wild it was just kind of you out there by yourself mm-hmm. roaming around and sliding off rocks and stuff so mm-hmm. it was just like okay oh and can i talk about like the the animations yeah. on like the characters and stuff it's like I actually kind of like how if you see like some of the uh, creatures on here. See, I I played the actual Hyrule Warriors definite uh, definitive edition. Okay, and I've been playing this at the same time, and I've noticed like some of the characters on here. You see how they're kind of moving around, doing like some kind of actions, mm-hmm. like on the other games when you kind of see them, like on the on the other Dynasty Warriors type games. Mm-hmm. You see characters kind of sit, kind of stationary in one spot, doing oh, okay. the same kind of. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to attack. You. And then the old school dinosaur, they all did it at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you sitting <laughs> there like, oh, how you guys get that so as, synchronized? As they were disappearing and then coming back in and disappearing. All right, I'm gonna step out. Get back in. Back in it. But you know what? But like, yeah, it, it does seem like each individual monster kind of has their own identity. You know. Yeah, well, versus like the the definitive edition that I was playing, it was just your typical. I know you played the other Dynasty Warriors games. I played so uh, full transparency here. Mm-hmm. Yes, I played plenty of Dynasty War games and yeah. spinoffs and stuff like that. I never played High Rule Warriors. The first oh. I never played, never played it, never played the definitive edition. I think mm-hmm. I planned on getting that, but mm-hmm. I never did. And the reason why is we talk about this a lot with uh, PS3 games mm-hmm. and specifically Nintendo games. 
it'll be two, three years after it comes out. It's still fifty five dollars. Yep. It, and it is. No, when I went to go buy the definitive edition, that sucker was like still like 50 or 60 bucks. Yeah. And I was waiting for it to go down. Right. And I, that's what happened. I was just waiting on, on the Wii U. I was just waiting on Hyrule Warriors to go down and it just mm-hmm. never did. So I just never played it. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. not saying it's not worth $55. It was just I wasn't prepared to spend $55 on it. Mm-hmm. So anyway, go ahead. Yeah. No, just like I said, it, it's so beautiful. Just the... um just the look of it and the, and the character animations versus like the, uh, the definitive edition was, is, it's pretty cool. I like it, but it's just, this is more detailed and you can see it in this. So if you want to get like an artsy type look or feel of the game, this, uh, Hyrule Warriors age of calamity. That's the, that's the way to go. All right. What's next music. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the music real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, most, I mean, anything that's associated with Nintendo, which mm-hmm. these characters are, obviously, this is made by Koei Tecmo, right? Mm-hmm. In associated, association with Nintendo using their characters, you already know there's going to be a certain level to the quality of graphics and the quality of the music. Mm-hmm. The music here was super high quality, mm-hmm. and I didn't like it. Mm. Oh, really? I think I know why. Why? Is it because, okay, even though it's very, very good, right. it doesn't fit the, the motif or the aesthetic of what's going on it, do, it doesn't really fit some of the music mm-hmm. is like super dark yeah and i'm like oh this is a cool dark song and then i look mm-hmm. at what's going on i'm like it, I'm it, like, doesn't, it, it fit. doesn't fit yeah right and it doesn't feel like a lot of music doesn't necessarily feel like zelda mm-hmm. no it did if, not if feel that like makes zelda sense. to me no 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 it, it doesn't only because like i said back to the definitive edition in that one they have the more upbeat music mm-hmm. for like battle and it, and it kind of go with like a little rock, like a rock um, genre, which is which is Dynasty Wars. Yeah, exactly. Which they always have that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this one, like I said, wasn't bad music. It just it didn't was beautiful. Fit. It was high quality, really, really high quality music. It just didn't necessarily fit. No, I know exactly what you mean. There, there are some and stages. There's nothing really memorable about no, it. No, I was gonna say I. Um... Can you remember any of the beats? Or any of the rhythms or any of the You want me to tell you the funny thing about it? Okay. I like you said, I can remember the first Hyrule Warriors music way more than I can this one right here. Yeah. Because in all honesty, like I said, it's it's so soothing. And, mm-hmm. and like you said, we're not it's not that we're talking bad about it. Yeah. It's just it was so soothing, it was so relaxing. But like, like I said, like, it, like it you you will put it on to you will put it on to sit back and read a book. Yeah. You know, not to get into the chaos, which is Dynasty Warriors, mm-hmm. which is you have like four and five thousand enemies on the field mm-hmm. and you're trying to go kill them all. Like, that's not the same feel of oh, I'm going to sit back and read a book. It's like, well, yeah, like, no, I, I need to go kill a thousand, two thousand people. Like, yeah. that's not the that's not the same same. If you go to war, you're not going to have like uh, um some per- somebody playing like a, a sweet mellow melody right. while you're going out there you're gonna have somebody playing the drums right. and it's like getting people hyped like yeah let me go out here and get you know start look at him he about, to, he about to start shooting you know? yeah you know yeah. Girl, no, i'm gonna get sore I'm just- i mean it had decent music it just wasn't it you know when you like the music because you remember it clear mm-hmm. as yeah. day yeah this was like mm. but you know what it's okay this whole game is breath of the wild you know that's the whole thing that this is based off of because now the other the definitive edition um are you skipping ahead to the story no 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 no, no. i'm just I'm, i was just i was just getting at the fact of it it's just the fact of um okay maybe i am i don't know why are you looking at me like that <laughs> i don't know because we're, talking about we're music. on music Yay! okay okay go ahead no i mean like it's just uh you know what nah let me just nah uh you looked at me funny man i don't know <laughs> i didn't even look at you i was looking at you in the screen but yeah okay. i know but so i can see felt it. It. i felt, felt it. that like okay. uh, uh, i ain't i ain't falling for that trap nah keep going all, all right, right what's next game Who's music? play game play <laughs> i'm over here like say bro man stay on your side over there man I'm, all right i'll stay over here i'm just minding my business all right mind your business that's all just mind your business <laughs> um back up nobody was gonna say back up but anyway no. uh let's back talk up. let's talk about gameplay real quick See, i mean I, mi- it, I missed it my bad yeah i mean it, it's it's it, it kind of takes dynasty wars to kind of a different level it does. I feel like in some most of the Dynasty Wars I play, you got all kind of different characters and they got different weapons. But mm-hmm. for some reason, the feel of it is the same. Yeah. Even though they all have different weapons, it feels the same. I don't, it's hard mm-hmm. to explain it. This one, all the characters feel and fight totally yes. different. Yes, mm-hmm. like they do. Completely different. No matter what moves or weapons that they're using, it feels completely different. It doesn't 
feel like mindless tapping of X sorry, anymore. Sorry, slash. I X, just defended a general. Even though it's yeah. the same buttons. Why, 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 why? X, 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 Y. Like, it don't feel mm-hmm. like that anymore, even though that's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. That they, they added a lot of stuff to this mm-hmm. with the magnetism and throwing of the bombs and using yep. elemental powers and ice and locking people in place. So I'm going to say that I enjoy the gameplay, but it doesn't necessarily fit this style, this fast paced style of game. Mm -hmm. When you have like, I don't want to say multiple button combinations, but Mm -hmm. sometimes I would just completely forget that I can do elements Mm -hmm. and elemental damage because it's so fast paced and so chaotic. I don't Mm -hmm. have time to start holding ZR to charge a weapon and then collect energy from this and that and do that like it you don't have time for that mm-hmm. like i would have just been better off continuing to hack and slash mm-hmm. um it looks cool it feels cool when you do it it's, it's, it's pretty dope but um i'm listening i know but i'm just you know i'm just looking at you on the screen it's like what's she doing what's she, <laughs> i'm listening what's she looking oh, yeah. at she's sitting there like i don't agree i'm sir. picturing it <laughs> I'm, I, no i'm picturing it i'm th- i was thinking about all the different styles and so how each lo- one it, of them it looks cool it yeah. looks impressive but you as the person playing it to me that's not necessarily fun mm-hmm. it, it makes the, it just it makes the game more complex for no reason mm-hmm. when i didn't have to do that mm-hmm. I, I there i had other options to do that would have been much easier and maybe i don't mess up the combo and maybe i don't get hit right there mm-hmm. so what what do you think about it you know what um gameplay on here a l- it's very smooth okay yeah. after after playing the definitive edition and playing this right here, Definitive Edition, characters running around, run around quick. They run around like, I'm about to run through a wall, hard to control. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I like the Definitive Edition, but on this one, like when I run and I stop, I have control over my character. I'm like, I'm not, I don't feel like yeah. I'm going to like run off a cliff yeah. or I'm running too further than I need to. Yeah. I have really good control over what I want to do, the direction I'm attacking. And I'm like, okay, this is actually really, really crisp. I like this. Um, so what's the definitive edition? The definitive edition was the Hyrule Warriors game that came before this. Oh, okay, okay. So that one, that game focused more on like all the Legend of Zelda games, uh, like all all of the Legend of Zelda games put together, and it had its own Dynasty Warriors game. Gotcha. This game is just Breath of the Wild, okay, like based off of that, mm-hmm. and so it had a different kind of mechanic to it, like in the feel of it. So from that to this, I'm like, it feels very good. Well, it was also like it's it also made on a different system. Yeah, Pre- previous yeah. gen system. So that's true. That's, that's something. That's something to be said about that. See, you playing my girl right here, Urubosa, right there. Oh, she's, she's like, so cold. Woo, boy. Oh yeah, bam. she's awesome. That's, Her snap. That's, yeah, when she snaps, she's like they know. They know. Just lightning. <laughs> just dope. Um, so what I will say is, anybody who was just watching this maybe 30 seconds ago. Uh, the game does not load that fast. I edited. No, you know, I did some edits on this video because I had a little extra time. So it doesn't load that. And I'm not saying it's slow loading, but if you if you're watching, no, mm-hmm. I, I did edits there just to keep the action moving along. But no, by far she is my <clears throat> favorite character to use because yes. I think it's just a good balance of store, sword play and 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 it is the magic. It it is an really elemental is. area damage because like let's say like you use somebody like Link, uh, for him you would have to start using like those extra elements and stuff that she had not like oh i'm, I'm looking at what she's doing but yeah. like Woo. you gotta start using those extra elements like you said the time freeze and yeah. the ice element now when you're using characters like her like orobosa you're you're just hitting everybody with lightning yeah you know and i'm like cool i like that it doesn't slow down the gameplay or anything but it fits. i can't i can't agree with you where i don't know if it's just that's just a learning curve that we have to get used to but there are times where i'm fighting the enemy and it will say now you got to use the the ice ability on this, and I'm sitting here. Okay, uh, uh-huh. yeah, I'm getting hit. I'm sitting there getting hit while I'm trying to like yeah. hit that when, button. When, when I could have just dodged and tried to do the the fury. Exactly the yeah. multiple hits and stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, uh, wait, what were we talking about? Ah, <laughs> gameplay. Oh, mm-hmm. gameplay. Yeah. No, like uh, I mean. So, so here's 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 the thing that I have to tell people about the about the gameplay. Mm-hmm. You're gonna start off with Link, and you're gonna learn how to play the game as Link. Hmm. Here's the deal. The bombs. So mm-hmm. far, what I've noticed is, and that's what I use the most. Mm-hmm. The bombs for every person deploy differently. Mm-hmm. So that's what you have to be careful of. Whenever it's time for you to use a new character, just mm-hmm. know 
that you're not going to get a screen that tells you where to aim the bombs as you're throwing it. Mm-hmm. It's going to be completely, completely different. So just, just, just know that. So, you know, like I said, each character, it feels completely different when you use each character. And it's, it's kind of to the point where it's like, well, this doesn't work for me. So this character, I don't even use the bombs. I'd rather use this instead. Mm-hmm. So every single character will play just completely different, which is kind of cool. I like the friend yeah. um, that has all the magic and she, and like people multiply. She was, yeah, she was dope. Oh, yeah. you're talking about the ninja girl. Uh, Ipa? Yeah. 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 But I kept getting hit as her. Mm-hmm. I took a lot of damage as her. But I did I did like her. She was dope. It was a little bit of a learning curve. And I was like, okay. But then once I got her, it was just like, yeah, I, I was no just sick turning back. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, Bro. yo, yo, this is this is it right no, here. When I hopped on the game, I was sitting there like, where the Grudo tribe at? I seen old girl. Where is she at? Yeah. Man. So, you know what? I was looking at like um, different people's tier lists that they have and where they would put different characters as. It's so interesting. So many people were like, some characters are like up and down on places like Urobosa. Some people would be like, no, she's like the top. Yeah. Some people would be like, nah, she's not as good. And some people would put Ipa as like, she's up there, like as gameplay up there at the top. I guess because she can make all those shadow clones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, and, and we and we know about tier lists. It's a, it's a difference between like, you know, like strongest character or mm-hmm. or easiest to use. Yeah. So you you got Link who's strong and easy to use. Yeah. But then you got Impa or uh, Impa, however you pronounce her name, mm-hmm. right? That is not real easy to use. But if you can figure out how to use her, yeah, you you probably be unstoppable. Yeah, and and that's what I was seeing too. So a lot of people were sitting there saying it's like the, even though some of these characters, because apparently I guess this character from what on this game I've seen it, there's just quite a bit of characters on here actually yeah. like i thought it was just going to be your initial few of them but people were actually saying some characters are hard to use but like you said if you master them you'll be a monster on the field because she has a move where within her regular combo automatically does a dash mm-hmm. it, and it'll come up on the screen to continue the continue the combo yeah mm-hmm. and when you continue that combo she will teleport across the screen and start hitting other people i mm-hmm. like her so you don't even have yes. to hit the dash so it's that kind of but it's also hard to control a little bit hard to control now you know what other characters is actually really good on here too zelda you know what i didn't use zelda a lot I, I used her the one time and I was like, okay, she got she got the moves. She mm-hmm. was just real weak the first time you're able to use her. I could tell, and yeah. Then, and then going forward, it was just like I got other people that's kind of cooler to use, and I just use them instead. You see this character here, this Zora? Uh-huh. Um, I think her name was Ruta or no, what is it? One of Mifa? Mifa? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Like her, she's actually really cold too. Yeah. Like I took her for granted, but then I was like, hold up, wait a minute. I was like, you know, Zora can get down. Yeah. And just zipping and zooming in water all around she, like she remind me of spider-man on marvel superheroes versus street fighter really why you say that is her special Wait, oh how she just be in the bubble yep and then she goes maximum spider up in there maximum spidey oh my gosh yeah like i like the characters i do like you say i do love each one of them do something so different mm-hmm. like you said because that's one thing where i was kind of like what is it? a warriors orochi let's mm-hmm. say i play like the warriors orochi game um it was some of those characters i'm like oh man it's like okay they have like what like over 50 or like 60 characters sometimes 100 and it's like half of these characters just play all the same yeah but like i said with with this i think people would love the fact that like yes you're getting something different with every person so what's next um online i don't know if they did they have online i'm assuming they did i mean i know they had two player local somebody didn't want to play with me though Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just saying it's like it looks I was, complicated. I mean, no, I mean, it's literally the easiest game you can ever play. That's yeah. not made for children. Exactly. Like, well, I'm going to say it again. This is the easiest game you can possibly ever play. That's not made for children. It looked easy when you started, but then mm-hmm. it seems like it got complicated. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Like how you have to move certain people to certain places because yeah, there's so much going on. Nah, all you got to do is just destroy everything until there's no red left. So yeah, just, just hit X until yeah. there's no red left. Mm-hmm. X and Y. That's it. There you go. Special modes. Um, I think I feel like they had like kind of built in special modes. They had those challenges. Yeah, that were kind of cool. Which is um, mm-hmm. anybody watching the screen here, this is a, a story. This is one of the story modes here. 
uh, stages, but the ones I played before that were just quick challenges. So mm-hmm. I, I like those, and it gives you a, uh, the opportunity to go get more resources. Yep, I so, noticed so that. You can, now, here's the only thing I didn't necessarily like. It's cool. Give me resources. I can cook new food. Mm-hmm. I can I can make new swords. I can combine and infuse you know, swords together and all that. However, mm-hmm. I don't like the fact that I have to spend resources to unlock place, to, to unlock shops, yeah, you to unlock yeah. t- tutorial mode. To unlock like all these different things like mm. that, I, I didn't necessarily like that. Because mm-hmm. um, I mean, one time I had to spend like fifteen hundred rupees for something mm-hmm. just to unlock, and it was just like I, after I spent the fifteen hundred, I couldn't afford anything there. Mm-hmm. Right, and so I was just like, "What? What was this?" And then even mm-hmm. the stuff that was in there, it's a good thing I couldn't afford it because I didn't need it no way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, "Why did I have to use all these resources to unlock this place?" So. Um, other shops and stuff too you can unlock them as soon as you mm-hmm. unlock them there's no one the shopkeeper's not there mm-hmm. so it's just like you just use these resources to unlock the shop that you can't even shop at yeah and I was sitting there like ooh do I get to buy more swords or something but no it didn't work like that Yeah, you know compared to the definitive edition that's one thing I've noticed they had they actually had a couple of little extra modes whereas like you had like your, your free mode you had your your adventure mode you had your my fairy and all kinds of stuff they had different stuff mm-hmm. and i was like like but see that is a definitive edition though yeah this could have some dlc to come and that's what i was wondering too are they gonna add like anything extra to this to where like oh okay we add like another mode though so, so another thing that could be considered um like a special mode is when you when you start using the divine beast yeah now yeah. Th- now again i got a gripe about you know i got a gripe go about for stuff it, man go for it it made the levels too long. The levels at this point, when you start messing with Divine Beast, are already mm-hmm. 25 to 40 minutes long, depending on if you mm-hmm. want to do everything yeah. on the map. Then you don't come back out to the main menu before you get to the Divine Beast. It mm-hmm. just loaded up and you get right to the Divine Beast. So now you're talking about like a full 45 minutes and one hour experience Ooh, yeah. all sitting down in one on one level mm-hmm. they, they kind of sh- they should have broke that up they should have broke that divine beast part out where you had to come back and, and, and play that um so i i didn't i didn't really enjoy that it's just like all right i'm i'm tired of tapping the y and the it's X right like now. it was exciting the first time but then when you kept doing it it's like okay can i just get through this now like yeah. well yeah like let's he said, wrap it up well see it got to the point where i would do a whole mission and then i'll be like huh whoo that was a whole day's worth of gaming yeah. and then i'll just put it down and I'll, I'll do something else yeah and then maybe i'll come back and be like okay now let's do another stage mm-hmm. what, what are we on i don't remember what which one are we on special modes what about story that's the next one. Oh, okay well let's okay. let's get into the story then. okay all right uh, this definitely has a Final Fantasy 13 feel to me, mm. which is go over there, find your new character, yep. and then that character finds the Divine Beast, and then you can use the Divine Beast, mm-hmm. and then you go find the next character. Get your new, next party member. And get your <laughs> next party member, and then their Divine Beast, and mm-hmm. how to use it. So it definitely has that feel to it. That's basically what happened the first 25 hours in Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 13 for all the people out there who quit after the first 10 hours because they didn't like it um you know wandavision style that's what happened you just kept going around and kept finding new people they wanted to leave the party and once they mm-hmm. decided to leave the party then they found their summon or aeon or yep. whatever it was called in that game and then it's like okay mm-hmm. I'll, I'll continue the quest and next thing you know mike b wants to leave and then it, they did that over and over mm-hmm. that's kind of kind of what happened here you just kept finding new characters and found, you found their divine beast and then um but like mm-hmm. you said, this is Breath of the Wild, so anybody who didn't want to invest 120 plus hours in that game, you can get, you know, a lot of the story from this. Yeah. You know, apparently from what I was finding out, this is a the story on this is like a continuation mm-hmm. of like the Breath of the Wild. Because I was trying to figure out, like, wait a minute, is this the actual story that's going on or a continuation? And I see they were saying it was a continuation. So but you, I was like, okay. but you, you still get some of you still get the basic premise of what happened. Exactly. Um I don't let's talk I, I think we need to update our list one day we've mm-hmm. had three months to do it but we didn't do it um i had a problem with zelda's voice oh really like oh. I, I guess i don't necessarily remember her in other games but she was she british yeah I thought in these I, other games 
it, it, it was a real strong British accent that didn't really fit the way she looked. And then her dad didn't have that accent. He looked like King King Triton. I don't know who that is, but huh. from um, Little Mermaid, and he was in Aquaman. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he was the I king of the. Oh, king. I try to the Atlantean King. I, I try to put that movie with armor. My, Come on, not, that mind. was not a bad movie, man. Come yes, on, it man. Was. stop playing, man. Come on. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. It's not that it was a bad movie. It is a bad movie. Uh, but anyway. yeah, her voice, it was weird. And it uh, to me, it wasn't even strong because it would like certain words she said were real British and certain words she said there, there like wasn't really an accent there. So I was like, mm -hmm. and again, her dad had like, he had like the royal, yeah, like but I'm not the king British. accent, but yeah. it wasn't like a British shore. But you know what? I think it's because, you know, British people, man, be out there getting that work, man. You know, they're very great actors. But if she's everything. so great, why couldn't she do her and voice without the accent? Because that's what they do. We got British actors all infiltrating Maybe. all of our movies and, and, I mean, and they just they don't have an accent. That's why we don't know. I mean, I mean, don't mm -hmm. when like you the scrolls. relate. It's like the scrolls. Wouldn't you relate nobility to like like yes. British type talking? Yes, but it just didn't fit. It was yeah, just kind of weird. It didn't weird. fit at all. I know, I know what you mean though. Yeah, I don't know where that fits into what we were talking about, but I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is the point of the show where we, I, I actually, I think we started doing that first, but whatever. It's been, it's been too long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, how much would you pay for this game, or how much would you recommend the people pay for this game? Real quick, can I go over to bosses and then I can actually bosses? Yeah. How much? Yeah. Go ahead. Real quick, I just wanted to go, kind of go over it. Um, for the bosses. Um, I actually liked the experience fighting the Boss. bosses in the game because it it it's, it kind of goes from like being a straight dynasty warriors kill all the the army to where it's like oh I'm actually in an actual boss fight I gotta fight the enemy because there are like plenty of them later on like after you get like a bunch of your party members where it's like oh man like you have to actually like block you have to actually like use the right item at the right time where in like when I was playing the other definitive edition it was like your typical uh, um dynasty warriors where the enemy's there they do their attack you do your attack they do theirs and you just kind of wear them down and this one lubu yeah lubu like you just just fighting lubu out there but like um on these like as you can see when you get behind certain enemies you get like the weak spot on them i like that kind of stuff yeah the only thing i didn't like is that um you can become overpowered pretty quick oh yeah you can go and you can um, um, merge a bunch of weapons. You can get your weapons super strong. Mm -hmm. and then you can take your person to the training facility and get their level up. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a point where some of the boss battles or mini bosses or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. If I had a special ready to go, they would, they would, out. they would just die in that one special. Mm -hmm. As opposed to, we know fighting Lubu, you had to do mm -hmm. 10 specials or, uh, or five cross specials. So if you are playing with your friend oh, before yeah. you beat a Lubu. I mean, shoot. a Lubu. Hey, for real, yeah, that's a Lubu. It, no, no, yeah, that's that's a monster right there. Everybody know Look, Sephiroth, Lubu. Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. It's like if Sephiroth came out there and Lubu just <laughs> walked up behind him, it's like, oh man, really? Come on, man, that was already hard enough for Sephiroth. Yeah, what we gotta do with Lubu. Lubu. <laughs> that's so funny, Lubu. 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 <clears throat> uh, I got a cousin named Lubu. No, you don't. I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, how much? You know what? Okay, I mean, for this, this this is what I would say, and it, and it doesn't go into like how good the game is. Me personally, I will probably spend like thirty bucks for it. Ooh, that's you want to know why? Well, yeah. Here's the thing about it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let me let me let me give my my reason of why I would spend thirty dollars. Great game, great game, really good. I like it. Um, you know, cool story has a lot more than other Dynasty Warriors, right? Thing is though, is that this is only just breath of the wild. So like when I kind of went in there, it's kind of like some of my other friends, some people thought that this game was going to be legend of Zelda breath of the wild with other characters from the other legend of Zelda. And that's how I kind of went into it too. And so just because you didn't know what you bought, you saying people should pay less for it. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not saying people pay less. I paid 30 bucks for it because I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, man, you know? Okay. I mean, it's, it's just breath of the wild, which I'm like, cool. If, but like, I would say I would just buy Breath of the Wild then, you know? That's what I would say. It seems better than Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I, didn't, this, I did not like a, Breath this, of the Wild. This is a lot more, mm -hmm. for me, it's a lot more enjoyable Engaging. experience than Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying it's better overall because mm -hmm. um, it probably doesn't have the le the length or the, the depth, right, that, that Breath mm -hmm. of the Wild has. Um, I would say that I think it's 
definitely worth a used fifty-five dollar price tag. Oh yeah, hey man, hey yo. I don't want y'all to go. I basically don't buy it new. Don't pay sixty plus tax. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and get you a used copy, fifty-five dollars. I push mine up to forty then. Yeah. I'll just say it's 40 then. I mean, to be fair, mm-hmm. I'll say 40 at least, you know? Yeah. So I you, mean, because you don't have extra modes and stuff in there. So not that I've seen. But at the, at the same time, this seems a little bit longer than so. See, the, Dyn- the old Dynasty Wars games, mm-hmm. generally the game itself was long, but each individual conquest was short. So mm. I might go out with a person and only fight like five battles. And then that little part of the story was over. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you kind of go to another person. And, and but now this seems like it has more and more length and it's, it's more cohesive. It's a more yeah. cohesive game. And um, so yeah, like I said, I, I feel and that uh, to me, that's saying a lot considering again, this is a switch game. It's yeah. not a PS five game that I'm telling you to spend $55 mm-hmm. on. This is a switch game. And, um, so, like I said, I, I, I'm not telling nobody to go buy a new, um, but if you can find a used copy for 55 or 40, yeah, you know, uh, go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to put the link down in the description below. My only thing with this game was that I like I like all the color and I like all the different characters, but it seemed like it's very repetitive, even though they're doing different moves. Like when, when you watch it, it's it's still like the same. It seems like. It's the same thing, though. You're still just going up against the same people and the same type of bosses. As Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Oh, Yay! Yay! I got excited at first when I thought, oh, you can buy this stuff and you can make these things. And That definitely helped. That, mm-hmm. But there wasn't that much of it. I mean, it was like I saw you do it some, but, you know, and then, like, there wasn't hardly any talking. There, there well, was. Yeah, well, that's what happened mm-hmm. when your main character doesn't speak. Yeah, yeah. There was like this, as far as like the story. <laughs> hey, no, I was, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, um, it's so funny how we got, we finally. Th- that's something that's interesting too. On the Breath of the Wild and these characters, they're actually talking. They actually have voices, and so, but yeah, it's like okay, like Zelda got a voice, or both got a voice, and everybody else got a voice. You get the link, ah! <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, and the merchants. Yeah. Like they make the weirdest yeah. noises. Yeah, the yes. merchants had backwards noises. Anytime they gave you a price and was like, "You want to buy this?" It was all like, mm. "It's like, nah, we ain't about to go back to that, man. You, you guys can talk now." But then they were like, <laughs> "Thank you." Like, I mean, it, they didn't say it, but it, uh-huh. the, yeah. they, it said, "Thank you." It's, like they were all happy. It's but, like, do you not want me to buy this? Right. You don't uh, want my money? Uh, well, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, yes or no? Yeah. So I don't yeah. know. Anyway, fifty-five for me, forty for Mike. Y'all ready to wrap up the show? Let's yes. do it. I think I think I'm supposed to say something here, but how I, do we do I, this again? I don't know, man. It's been <laughs> been since when, the last year since we've done a show, man. I don't remember, so I'm gonna I'll just let her do her thing. How about that? All right, All right. No that's it for today, guys. Thanks for listening to Anx Gamecast. If you enjoyed the show, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we release new episodes. See you next week, Lou Boo. Yeah. <laughs>